Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week's video didn't exactly go to plan, but we're still gonna post it anyway, because obviously life doesn't always go to plan. Um, and I want you guys to see every side of my life. So this was a spend the week with me vlog explain at the beginning of the video as to why it didn't quite go to plan so let's just get straight into it so i'm aware of what i look like <laughs> but you know it's a reality um i am in my pjs right now my hair is actually scruffed back with a claw clip um and this is probably the worst my skin has ever been in the 23 years that i've been on this earth like generally i don't understand what's going on like i'm really struggling to understand and identify what is causing these breakouts if you have any ideas of things that can break out skin please do comment down below i'll be forever grateful um or if you've gone through similar things like any advice that you can give on the topic so grateful one of my goals this year is to like try and educate myself on skincare um and just improve like my skincare routine i use the most basic products my knowledge around it is so basic but that leads me on to my next point <laughs> i've been really ill the last two days so it is currently tuesday today i was going to kind of do like a week with me um didn't plan on going the way that i expected because i threw my back out on sunday and i mean like cannot move through my back out i've been attached to the sofa for the last 48 hours got back support on like i don't know what on earth i've done i didn't do anything extreme which really raises alarm bells to me because i think why on earth is is my back that weak that it could be thrown out that easily i had a really productive sunday um which was really really great i'm really glad that it <laughs> my back like got thrown out later in the evening because i still managed to do like my weekly reflection plan my food for the week um do like my weekly clean i did three loads of washing i went and got my food shop i did my meal preps like i still had a very like productive sunday um but around seven o'clock i think it was i really yeah threw my back out so everything sort of went out the window for the rest of the stuff that i wanted to get done that day and then everything in my life has been thrown out yesterday and today um because just not literally been able to move been in, I, I swear to god i've never experienced pain like this in my life it was so intense i feel like I, I feel like i say that every time i experience pain i'm like i've never experienced pain like this but no honestly i think it's because like pain is also subject to memory right like we do forget pain so what you're experiencing just feels so intense at that time but yeah no honestly in a grand scheme of things it has been really really painful and i'm i'm used to back pain like i have a week back as a teen i used to have the worst worst periods ever um i used to get like shooting pains down my legs and it all stemmed from my lower back it was just incredibly painful um so i'm i'm like i have a higher threshold in terms of back pain do you know what i mean but no this has not been the one like i literally haven't been able to move like the slightest bit if i sneeze cough like anything it's just so intensely painful um so yeah but it's gradually getting better like today it has improved tomorrow i'm hoping to be back in routine and just yeah like doing everything that i'm supposed to be doing have a usual day fingers crossed because i'm not someone that deals well with rest <laughs> to say the least i've definitely got better I definitely am someone that understands rest is important and just as productive as ticking something off a list or doing something. Like in the past, I would put myself in worse positions just because I couldn't acknowledge that like I needed to rest. It was like such a bad negative connotation in my brain. And it was like, no, I've got stuff to do. Like I'm just so, so bad like that, um, which is also a positive. Like it's great to have a drive and be productive. And do you know what I mean? But mine was like, I would say toxically positive and like, needing to do something all the time to the point of like why can't you just sit still for a minute and rest and understand that that's good for your body so i've definitely like changed the association in my brain over the last six months to a year around what rest means um so i felt like i've dealt with it better this time and i've been able to just generally be like okay i'm bored that's okay like and not spiral into a meltdown <laughs> so little wins right little wins heading in the right direction um so i've literally just i binged the oc the new season of selling the oc um so i've had like things to keep me occupied as well um 
I've found like a few new people on YouTube that I'm really enjoying watching. So that's been really fun. Um, but yeah, like right now I'm just trying to like tidy things up today because I don't want to wake up tomorrow with like nothing clear. Do you know what I mean? In the sense like I've made a bit of a mess in the front room, in the kitchen because I've just been in so much pain that I'm like doing the bare minimum. So I just want to like reset that. So I'm just trying to set myself up for a better rest of the week um so obviously on sunday i had other things that i wanted to get done and literally when i threw my back out everything just went out the window absolutely everything i didn't even tidy up the stuff that i was doing like i just didn't do anything so there's things that are like half finished that i need to address <laughs> so i'm trying to tidy that up like even if i'm not gonna get it done just add it like update my little like project tasks so like i'm i'm clear and straight in where everything's at um i've been recently starting this project of like revamping my wardrobe i did speak about this on my prep with me for france and Lake district vlog but i feel like between my teens to my early 20s like my style has changed so dramatically i don't know i've had such a shift that it's just started to get me down a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I've I've either got like a I've got a full wardrobe, but none of it's my style. So like I'm not using anything in my wardrobe. So I've tried to do like a big clear out because I feel as though like I'm I struggle, like I said this before, I think in my vlog, I struggle to buy myself clothes anyway. Um I'm someone that like I really tear myself apart if i spend like money on things that i feel is not a necessity do you know what i mean like obviously clothes are a necessity but because i have clothes in my wardrobe it's like but you don't need that it's such a, in my head like i know it's all in my head so i feel like sometimes you have to make way for new so i've like chucked practically three quarters of my wardrobe out um because I also think as well, like, generally, I'm not even joking. Some of the stuff that I have is from when I was, like, 16. I'm now 23. How am I expected to fit in something that I wore at 16? I was still partly a child. Have got to a point where it needs to dress in. I'm only going to start piecing bits back together um, and buying things that I feel fit my new style. And, like, me being a woman like being a woman's very different from being a teenager so that was something that i started on sunday i literally threw everything out like so much out of my wardrobe um i've probably got a quarter left of what's in my wardrobe i cleared out like two whole big drawers um so i am going to donate a load of it there's a few items that i will probably sell so that's my plan but my point in that is i started it on sunday and i haven't like i've just left stuff everywhere like because right now I feel like that isn't on my to-do list. There's so many things that are just in my head that I'm like, I've got no time for that or I haven't put it back on my to-do list or whatever. So right now my goal is just to sort of tidy up the bits that I didn't tidy up on Sunday. My go-to whenever I'm in this situation is to grab a piece of paper or my whiteboard and do what I call a brain dump. So like everything that's been rattling around my, my brain in the last 48 hours, I will dump onto here. So it will be like kitchen's a mess. Ki um, front room needs to be put back together. I need to put my clothes away. Um, what about the clothes in on the bed in the other room? What am I doing about that? Like everything that just I, I can feel in my head, I'll put onto this paper. And then I will either add it to my to-do list and like update the project or I will put it on a separate list that needs to be completed today. This is the channel that I am loving. So I have like brain dump. I'm just trying to find something to watch because I think I spoke about this in a vlog before or it might have even been my intro to my channel video but i'm someone that like constantly has the telly on <laughs> it's a problem which i'm aware of and i'm trying to fix um i think the worst part is me falling asleep with the telly on because as i understand it obviously electronics penetrate like a blue light which interjects with the melatonin that's being produced in your brain which is the hormone that regulates sleep please don't quote me on this i'm not a professional it's just what i have learned throughout watching a lot of psychiatrists and podcasts etc um 
so you won't like essentially fall into as much of a deep sleep i have started sleeping with an eye mask on though i do want to get to a position where i don't fall asleep with the telly on altogether which i am doing at times so deep rooted into me that i just like internally freak out it's so it's so interesting to like notice and and just watch it's just, it's just really really strange how the human body works but yeah so i then went for a phase of watching telly again but like i say even when i do have the phases of watching telly to fall asleep i have an eye mask on so it does impact the level of blue light that i am absorbing um but as for like the rest of the day i still do like do everything with the telly on when i'm doing like deep focus work i will put I have like this Spotify playlist that I'll put on. But when I'm like cooking or doing like admin bits or housework, I'll have telly on still. So I'm gradually getting there, but I don't think it will probably be something that I will ever cut out of my life. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with having the telly on in the background. I think when you're trying to do deep focus work, it's an issue because multitasking or like having two things entertain your brain is actually the worst and fastest way to burn out. So I think when you're actually trying to be like deeply productive it's an issue which is why i now listen to meditation music when i do deep focus work because i'm conscious of that um, and obviously the same with falling asleep i think it's negative to have that light um so i've replaced it with reading for half hour before bed in them instances i think it's important to try and change that habit i'm just going to find something to stick on so i can get on with my dinner uh comment down below if you experience any of this as well like i'd love to know what goes on in other people's heads any like podcasts or books you can recommend on the topics please do leave down below because i'd love to try them out my recommendation would be like diary of a ceo i talk about this podcast religiously i literally watch it like there's no tomorrow it's my favorite podcast without a doubt there's so many podcasts that i love in the personal development space really really love grace beverly she has a podcast called uh, working hard or hardly working um that's really really interesting as well um obviously like jay shay love him love the guests that he's had on as well um lewis howes he's got his school of greatness podcast like there's literally so many in the space that i love and i really really find interesting but i can't lie like the Stephen Bartlett one is one that I will never miss. I just love it. I literally am reading his book at the minute. Um, he just brought out a book that's like the 33 laws on what he's basically learned from doing the podcast and the best information that he would pull out of all the hours that he's done. Um, so yeah, really, really incredible book. I literally pre-ordered it as soon as I could because I'm so excited to obviously learn all the stuff that he finds the most valuable from what he's learned in the podcast so yeah I would really recommend that um, I bought my best friend a copy as well for personal driving test so we're both reading it at the moment which is really interesting I love reading books of other people because you can like bat ideas back and forth and like what did you think about this and what did you think about this we do the same thing with podcasts a lot of the time like we'll watch the same podcast we watch a lot of the same people and then we'll be like did you see that podcast and oh we'll be talking about a topic and then we'll draw on a part of a podcast that we watched and it'll be like oh yeah i watched that as well i thought this and we just like love to see what each other's interpretations of content and things that happen in the world at the moment so yeah i'm really excited about reading that and batting ideas back and forth with her you know you love me xoxo gossip as summer comes to an end, I'd like to share a few things I've learned Gossip Girl about one. Sun in the Sun. Gossip Girl's Guide I want to Season 2 one. for the girlies that Don't know. fall asleep on the job. The best hookups are free of morning breath and awkward conversation. My beautiful kitchen. For dinner, I actually didn't eat my meal prep today. So I thought I might as well just really eat it and have it as my dinner. Um because obviously there's no point in wasting this food and also where my back's hurting I don't really want to stand to be cooking and preparing etc so I'm going to reheat this have this for dinner and then finish tidying up the kitchen
guys so it is currently wednesday obviously the last time that we sort of spoke was last night when i was sort of telling you my intentions for the rest of that evening um it sort of went to plan and sort of didn't so i did manage to tidy up a lot of the space i didn't put my clothes away but i did sort of tidy the kitchen the front room and everything um but i was in so much pain literally I, it was just really unexpected because everything felt like it was going in the right direction yesterday so i was just under the impression that i would feel better than i did by the end of the day but i think obviously i was sitting and resting for a lot of the day but when i actually got up and tidied up and was moving all the pain come back and it was like actually i'm not feeling as good as i thought so last night i just felt really frustrated by the fact that i wasn't better and i just felt like i just want to get back into my routine tomorrow really badly so yeah it was just a little bit like frustrating for me um and i just thought i'd share that with you because i don't know if there's anyone else out there that sort of is similar to me um but i just want to know that you're like you're not alone and you really need to learn to be like patient with yourself like i really 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 hurt myself so the fact that I literally give myself one day of sitting there and then by the next day I was expecting that evening to be back, tidying, like running around the house. Like, I, do you know what I mean? That's probably not the, great ex the greatest expectation to have. Um, so like, that's something I'm learning and like I'm trying to be patient with myself um, and just be okay with with sitting with that i was even like deciding whether to post this because i just feel like it's very mishmashy it's just me being like yeah i just sat on the sofa and yeah i've just sat on the sofa again <laughs> like i just feel like it's really mishmashy but i also feel like that's life do you know what i mean and i don't want to be only uploading vlogs where i'm having the most productive weeks of my life because that's not realistic and it's not the like the message or the image that i want to be given to people like i want people to understand that they're do you know what i mean everyone goes through periods at times and like everyone goes through seasons and i do still want to post this because i will have other vlogs that come out that will be really productive do you know what i mean but it's good for you guys to see this side of my life as well and even like all my instagram content is obviously very tailored towards like motivation and discipline and but i have also tried to lean into a little bit more of self-love and like rest is okay and content along them terms because as i evolve and grow as a person obviously my content will as well and i want everyone to see that side as well like i don't want to dehumanize us all and and like make people feel like you know you should be doing this this and it like it's not my message like yeah I, I really believe that we should all be the best version of ourselves, but that comes with highs and lows at times and um it's just the reality i am able to stand as you can see like i'm in a lot better position today um than i was yesterday definitely but i'm still not 100 percent. i still feel pain at times if i move a certain way i can still really feel it um i've managed to get a new back support the one that i was using before was just so flimsy this is like got a lot more robust to it um but i just want to jump on here and update you guys you know, i did shoot to lidl after work i think that i cook you have to prepare um i don't tend to lean towards things heavily from scratch and i don't lean towards things being like heavily frozen either i try and find that balance in the middle of using fresh ingredients but things that don't take too much prep and generally not more than 20 minutes 30 minutes at a time for a meal but obviously that's still a little bit too far of a stretch for me in the current state that i'm in so i thought i'll just shoot to lidl and grab some bacon because do you know what i mean easy like i can literally just stick that in walk away and sit down um and i don't need to prepare it so i just thought i'd grab that so i just grabbed bacon and a baguette and i've just made myself that for lunch um so i did wake up around eight o'clock today which like i say is very out of character for me um in the week i generally wake up it does fluctuate um obviously you would have seen my morning routine that went live last week at the moment have like a heavy part of my morning routine is doing like my exercise and i don't feel confident in doing that in my current state so there's no point in me being up at that time because obviously i feel like resting is the most important thing for me right now so i did wake up later today i'm also really struggling with sleep because i just can't get comfortable because i'm in so much pain so um yeah obviously that's really frustrating so i was really tired this morning as well so i just was kind to myself and let myself lay in um so i was up about eight and then i had work nine till one and then i've come back i got back about half one 
quarter to do quarter to two because I went straight from there to Lidl um, and then I come back I cooked and then I had a nice little catch up on FaceTime with my best friend and then I catched up with Celebs Go Dating as you would have seen I had like two and a half episodes to watch so I just thought I'd sit down I was in a lot of pain from this morning I'm gonna take a cushion with me tomorrow um, just for a little bit of extra back support and obviously I've got a better back support on now as well so that should make a difference um, but I was in a lot of pain so I was, I'm just gonna sit down catch up with my friend and then watch a bit of telly and then get up and try and do a few bits if I can but again I'm gonna try and be really kind to myself and not put too much pressure on myself to get a lot done because I am still in, in pain um so yeah I've watched Let's Go Dating comment down below if you're watching this season I'm absolutely loving it um I always love that show Obviously, I love anything that's like heavily on self-development and I think that show is obviously a lot around that. Now I'm going to just sort of write down what I can sort of get done today. Um, I'm going to check what needs to be done and then just pick off things that I feel like are either really urgent and I'm just going to have to do them or I can do from sitting down. Just made myself a coffee in my little usual cup. Hi guys, so... It was about half five i think the last time that we spoke um i did get changed i sat down for a bit um i did do a little bit of admin just a few bits nothing i didn't really have anything that was like really urgent the stuff that i feel like is getting on top of me at the minute is the physical things like the fact that my clothes has been sitting there for three days like it's the physical that i feel like i want to be doing um also like exercise and i'm really struggling with sitting still so much um yeah i just feel like that's the sort of stuff that's getting on top of me but they're the things that are out of my control currently so i'm just trying to be patient <laughs> with myself um but just to keep myself occupied i did do a few bits of like what i would call busy work um just like looking at some clothes because obviously i'm getting rid of a lot of my clothes and i need to replace them so i'm trying to like establish what i want to buy and like what my style is and so it's nothing that like is detrimental um but it was just like a bit of busy work that was also a little bit creative and fun so i thought that just might occupy me for a bit instead of just sitting still um i also like had the tv on i watched um quite a bit of youtube i caught up with um youtube i i watched um saffron barker's latest video i watched an episode of pod crushed which is pen badgley's um podcast also can we talk about for all my gossip girl girlies the fact that he had taylor mom said on like that was so weird like seeing them interact with each other obviously they've not seen each other since they finished filming the show um so that was really fun to watch i didn't watch that one today i watched the one with nina dobrev today um which is a little bit of an older episode but i've not got around to watching it um and i love nina dobrev obviously vampire diaries is one of my favorite shows i watched it when it first come out um granted to be fair actually i didn't watch it when it first come out because obviously it's a bit of a raunchy show um and i remember like all my family was obsessed with it we was living with my mom's sister at the time i remember my aunt watching it in the living room and like the door being shut and being like leo you're not allowed to go in there when that show was on and i always remember being like i want to watch it so i may have even just watched it originally on the basis of fomo <laughs> um i'm not gonna lie though like comment down below what you think but i just feel like the later seasons don't hit as much um and it's really weird for me because i know people that watch the originals and love the originals but that doesn't hit for me either like i don't know there's something about like the interaction of that whole cast within the first two seasons that i just love like and yeah i just find the first couple of seasons for me are unmatched like don't get me wrong i still love it i love it when they go college like i love the whole show do you know what i mean um i think obviously when nina dobrev leaves it like it's a little bit oh because like she's the she is vampire diary do you know what i mean she obviously plays Catherine and elena so when they remove them two characters it's like wow it's such an impact on the show all the originals have like left they have their own show i just feel like it becomes a little bit untouched from what it was at the beginning but i also understand that that's development like that happens in a lot of shows obviously suits is one of my favorite shows and towards the end it's a completely different show from what it is at the beginning even again down to the characters like mike leaves and even harvey leaves eventually like it's they are the main characters at the beginning so it's it's like regular in shows but i don't know if it's because i get attached to the characters and i don't enjoy the show as much as 
I do at the beginning. Um, so for me, yeah, like I just feel the first couple of seasons of Vampire Diaries are just unmatched and I love it. Um, but yeah, obviously I love Nina Dobrev. Um, I've watched other things and other projects that she's done as well. So obviously I thought I'd watch that episode. I also, like I said, watched Saffron Barker's latest video, which I also thought was really interesting. And I messaged my best friend throughout it because I've personally been in a little bit of a rut recently. Um, I would probably go as far as to say it's like a bit of an identity crisis. <laughs> I don't know. Um, which I think is so regular. Like for any of you people out there in your 20s, like... I know we all feel it do you know what i mean i really really do and i know we all go through phases of feeling like who am i and then really knowing who you are and in touch with it and then like losing yourself like i know that's part of life i'm very aware of it um and i don't let it defeat me as i have done in the past like when i'd feel that way in the past i'd just spiral and now i can like acknowledge that feeling and just sort of sit with it and go okay that's that's part of life um but obviously it's challenging and i just feel like for myself i've been in such a rut um just around like a lot of things um in general and i've like tried to push through it and be disciplined but i've not been as consistent as i was prior to this rut um but i say all that to say that i just feel like a lot of people are in this space at the moment um like one of my friends is going through a similar just feel a bit like lost with their identity and like their self-belief and things and i've felt the same recently um my cousin like i was talking to her about it and she felt really similar i've just watched Saf's um like latest video and she says the same like she was lacking a lot of belief and the whole video was like get out of a rut with me um and she talks about how she's prioritized her, prioritized her health to like get out of that rut um so yeah like i think a lot of people are feeling it right now but yeah so i've just been like sitting and watching a lot of videos doing little bits of admin um and now i'm going to cook dinner it's currently eight o'clock um so yeah i'm gonna cook myself something obviously what i said earlier about everything in my house needs preparing <laughs> so i've like kind of i would never really usually eat this late it's really funny because when i was in london like this was so early for me but yeah now like this is so late for me to eat um but i've just been avoiding it because i don't know what i want to eat i don't want to prepare anything um i should have got like some form of microwavable meal when i was in Lidl earlier but I was like in pain and I just wanted to be at home. So I was like bacon and out. Um, but I really don't feel like having bacon again because I literally just ate that. So yeah, I'm going to have a look at what I want. Okay, so I've landed on a chicken pasta salad because I feel like it's relatively easy. I mean, this will take me five seconds to cut up and I can do it from sitting down on my breakfast bar if I want to. Um, and then obviously I will just chuck chicken in the air fryer, pasta in a pan. Just seasoned my chicken with some paprika. Here. Um, I got this little spice rack for my birthday. Cute. dinner is now cooked i'm just letting the pasta and chicken rest for a bit because i hate putting hot pasta and chicken in a cold salad it's just a big no for me can't lie so i'm just letting that rest for a minute i'm watching another episode of podcast podcast pod crushed which you would have seen for people who don't know who that is that's sophia bush um for my one tree hill fans out there you know um i love one tree hill as well as you can tell it was like a similar theme i love american high school shows basically is the summary to be fair suits isn't but like a lot i've watched a lot of that stuff when i did as a teenager i watched the oc as well I watched 90210 like i watched all of the typical american high school shows um but some of them reserve a bigger place in my heart than others. And One Tree Hill, I absolutely loved. Um, I love every single season as much. Do you know what I mean? Like, I generally couldn't pick a season that I love more than others. There are other shows like that as well. I do really like Gossip Girl from start to finish. Like, I like the end season as much as the beginning. Um, Modern Family, love 
like the beginning as much as the end friends could pick any season and love so there's a lot of shows that i do like throughout just as much as at the beginning because i think i love things like modern family and like one tree hill where you literally see the same characters throughout all them seasons like obviously jamie in the show he is a baby like you see um hayley pregnant in school and then you literally see jamie walking and talking and it's the same actor as well which i think is just really beautiful i love that in shows it's really funny because i've never watched interviews of sophia bush before but i really enjoy her conversation she's someone that's like very in touch with her emotions and like processing things and like healthy ways to process things and they've spoke a lot about like how is your soul and what should like have you processed your childhood trauma and things that are like very my kind of topic of conversation so it's really interesting and it's something that you wouldn't expect from her basing her off of her character on the show do you know what i mean which is very superficial like obviously you always know that a person is playing a character but like for me i just feel like i do morph that into the person that who is playing it and you do believe that to an extent they've got to be similar to their character to play it so well i don't know maybe that's just myself like i appreciate acting and like i appreciate method acting and people adopt a different person but like she's so far from the person that she plays in that show like so far it's crazy her upbringing was completely different and she's a, yeah just very opposite to the character that she plays so i've been watching that whilst i'm cooking dinner um obviously allowing my food to go a bit cold so i can put it in a salad i will slice up the chicken i just cook like my new favorite thing to do is just cook a chicken breast and slice it once it's cooked and add it to the meal i used to like cut chicken up before it was cooked and then fry it in smaller chunks but it's so much longer um and more difficult so yeah i've been doing that recently which i really really love so i'm gonna put this food together finish watching my podcast um and then just see how i feel like i'm trying to play the day by here by ear by here i feel like i always say that saying wrong please comment down below what it is because it's actually embarrassing at this point <laughs> i don't know what it is but yeah i'm just playing the day as it comes um I, I literally said to my mom earlier this afternoon like i'm not having any expectations for this day because i had expectations for my day yesterday i thought i was going to feel better and then i just felt even worse because i expected to be further along and have sorted out my clothes and all this stuff and i hadn't so i'm just trying to be a little bit more go with the flow today um so i'm gonna eat my dinner see how i feel so hungry i can't wait for this food and that's really well put prepped my salad earlier and put it in the fridge quietly so i'm having a diet coke with dinner um this is something else that i'm really trying to work on because i really understand how detrimental coke is to your health um so i'm really trying to cut down on that that's something as well that like i've drunk since i was very young um not very young like since i was a teen um early teen and we always had diet coke in my house we could consume diet coke like it's going out of fashion in my dad's household pretty well like for, for the most part like i say up throughout this year i've been really consistent with my routines morning evening like my own project everything i've been getting outside doing my journaling doing my meditating like having my greens having my ginger shot every day like i've been really on track with the things that i want to be doing um and i was even pushing myself that one step further to cut more things out for example when i spoke to you guys about cutting the tv out before bed because the blue light that was something new that i was implementing cutting diet coke out was something else new that i was implementing um and up in my water intake that was another thing that i was trying to implement so i was getting in a good place of it i literally wasn't drinking coke i wasn't even buying it in my weekly shop like, i was doing really well i was drinking three liters of water a day like doing so well and then i fell into that rut in like the last three four weeks and my old self is coming out way too much and i'm not here for it i can't lie i'm not here for it <laughs> so yeah i really really need to check myself I'll do bits and pieces. what else is she growing oh my god i love that uh, my mum's friend is growing tomatoes so she gifted us some how cute from her garden i'm well excited to try them they smell so fresh they smell like a farmer's market
Hi guys, so it is currently Thursday. We're now on the following day. Um, I'm trying to think where I left off, I can't lie. Oh, I was doing dinner and that. Um, yeah, so I had dinner, tidied up. I did my evening routine. I'm gonna try and do a few of my other like admin bits and things that I need to get done. Um, but just try and pick the parts that uh, where I'm sitting still, similar to like what I was doing yesterday. But today I don't feel the constant pain. However, I feel fragile. That's the word I'm gonna use. That feels like a very good descriptive word at the moment. <laughs> I just feel like when I stand up or like get out of my car, I feel I can feel the pain and I'm like, oh, is it gonna go? Like I feel really, yeah, fragile. Like it's the best word at the moment. Um, so I'm trying to mentally remember that just because I'm not feeling constant physical pain doesn't mean I'm a hundred percent. Um, so I'm actually gonna start editing this vlog. And what else do I need to do? That's literally what I'm about to sort out right now. I don't even know what I need to do. I'm going to do my usual brain dump um, and just look through like my to-do list and pull off things that I feel like I could do in this state. Um, you would have seen a bit of footage from today already, actually. I've just completely bypassed that. <laughs> um, I come home, I sorted out my clothes. So there was a pile of stuff that was like a question mark. And I didn't know if my mum wanted anything from that pile or if she knew anyone that wanted anything from that pile. So me and my mum went through it together. She's pulled bits out that she wants and bits that she wants to give to some of her friends. And then I've got a bag of stuff that we're donating as well. So I've like differentiated between it all. I am someone that heavily, and I emphasise the word heavily, fluctuate in my weight. Like I'm talking month to month, week to week. I can literally be a different size. Like it's crazy how much my body changes, like generally, and I definitely get that from my mom. So that means that we have a lot of clothes in ranges of sizes. So we're just trying to like differentiate from the stuff that currently fits our stuff that's too small, too big. I have even got to a position where like I'm more balanced in my diet. Don't get me wrong, I've still got a long way to go, but before I I, I feel like it was very self-inflicted. Well, I. I thought it was self-inflicted because I am a big binge eater. Like I said this to you before, like I can be in really bad routines and binge and then I'm conscious of it and I will go like, I'll overcorrect and be like completely strict to not allow myself to have anything. Like I yo-yo heavily. I've tried to correct that and I thought that that was what caused my weight fluctuation. But I don't think it is. I just think like if I'm stressed, like I feel it so intensely that I won't eat and I'll lose weight. And then when that week of like stress has gone i'm a little bit more comfortable my body clings to the food more so we had a big clear out big big clear out um and then i had lunch i had a nice blt and i watched last night's episode of celebs go dating um which i can't believe it's the final tomorrow like that's gone so quick I've just literally finished that coming here to catch you guys up i'm gonna write my intentions for today obviously i know that i want to edit this vlog i know that i want to upload onto instagram i have a few admin bits to do so i'm gonna just write that down and then i'm gonna make myself a coffee i'm really fancying a coffee and then i'm going to crack on with the bits so i'll keep you guys posted so it is currently friday obviously i did keep you guys posted yesterday i know we had a bit of a chit chat um obviously you would have seen i made myself a coffee and then i sat down and did some work um i got some bits done that i needed to which made me feel great um i what else did i do oh i started one tree hill again i think it was the sophia bush interview that just really made me feel like i really want to watch it i really miss it i had a facetime call with my best friend which was really lovely i think that covers pretty much everything yesterday yeah i got up about eight again today um and then obviously done my usual like went to work come back got back about two today um and i am just about to brain dump you see in my brother for dinner tonight he's coming over to my mum's which will be really lovely and then like i say my best friend's coming to stay tomorrow i'm also going to try and see my dad tomorrow because i've not seen him in a little while and then i was going to pick up my little sister on the way back and go for a drive with her because that's like what we usually do she loves going for a drive so i'm gonna yeah 
brain dump, cook, and then get some bits done before my brother comes around for dinner. you guys for watching this video as always i appreciate every single one of you i've noticed that there's been some new subscribers to the channel so thank you so much for subscribing thank you for viewing thank you for watching thank you for being a part of this community i appreciate every single one of you and i hope to see you here in the next vlog